What's up guys? Today I would like to show you some interesting indicator which is called Bitcoin Energy Value Oscillator which is now available on TradingView and also we'll talk about the hash rate patterns and the global cycles of Bitcoin price action and uh, yeah again I couldn't be 100% bullish so let's um, dive into the details well well first of all speaking about the Bitcoin energy value oscillator it is made by Charles Edwards he also wrote some scripts for the hash ribbons indicators and so on so he uses a bit of more sophisticated approach than just the hash rate so he uses energy input supply growth rate and multiplied by the factor which includes the value of the energy spent for for the mining process. So in that way he basically evaluates and compares the energy required for the mining for of Bitcoin with the price and in fact he draws some parallels with the previous uh, bear market for example when we have some zero line with this indicator touching this line uh, first time and then breaking it and then having a dip below it and then finally establishing some reasonable uh, growth after that so we had this deep first time we have had this deep second time so it's very likely according to this pattern that we will have another rise above it and in, indeed if we'll, we'll do something like that we'll find a support on this zero line then why not we might indeed have the rise after that and new bull trend on the other hand what I would like to point out is that if we'll go a little bit earlier in the chart then we'll see that although we are pretty low here in the green zone which means like let's buy uh, we in fact we didn't go to this area which was in 2014 uh, in this bottom uh, we didn't go there when we had this bottom at three thousand dollars in 2018 so well one could argue that we actually should go lower uh, in this indicator as well in order to find the real bottom if we'll go lower then we might even go below uh, than three thousand dollars level and there is another thing about the hash rate uh, recently people are saying that we are having a new all-time high in hash rate and it's super cool it looks healthy well miners are positive they believe that bitcoin price will go higher and so on and so forth well but i don't know really whether it is good or not you see if you look again at the previous bear market what happened we had a constantly growing hash rate and it was continuing to grow even uh, while the price was dropping and before the major drop we actually had this uh, previous all-time high in the hash rate value so after that we had the drop in, in the hash rate we had the volume at the capitulation point and in fact this pattern looks almost the same as this one just ask yourself whether it is good that the miners are growing their hashing pow hash power uh, when the price is going down it means that they are getting less and less profit right they they have to compete with each other and eventually it is either uh, one of the two options either the price will go higher and they all will be happy or one of some of them some huge portion portion of them would have to close their mining uh, process because they can't uh, compete they couldn't compete with the rest of the miners because of the price is still low or even lower and it's not only the pattern of the hash rate it's also the pattern of the profile of the volume you see it was continuing to go lower and lower and lower during the bear market until the point when liquidity and volatility was very very low here so we are kind of uh, repeating the same thing uh, when we're printing our lower highs and lower lows right now we're very low in volatility we are very low in liquidity so yeah of course we could we could rise from here um, like very fast and wouldn't drop uh, lower than six thousand uh, dollars ever from now on but again usually traditionally there are two ways of the reversal either v-shape or accumulation and even the volatility indicator shows us that although we are pretty low we didn't reach the low lowest point uh, of the previous volatility area even comparing with the previous bear market we didn't go that low yet although we are continuing to decline so until we will see some rise in volatility like this we will not have the reversal or until we'll see it very very long time in the same uh, low volatility area we will not 
let's see the reversal at least this is what the statistical data tells us of course again on the shorter time frame we might see some indications of the potential reversal already like as i posted on twitter hash ribbons already not in the capitulation zone for a while we are seemingly going up um, fisher transform is printing a bullish crossover like we are going up right uh, ttm squeeze also indicates that we have a potential reversal from the downtrend to the uptrend uh, moreover on balance volume uh, which is basically the aggregating volume depending on the price action is having the kind of a bullish pennant right now and this is the typical behavior of such pennant you see we should at least statistically we should go higher from that point and if we will then it would mean that we are having a volume rise while the price is also going higher of course it's just the one option and like we have maybe 60 65 percent chance that we will see this rise and like 30 40 percent chance that we'll see the drop from that uh, wedge even lower so nothing is guaranteed but as you see there are some bullish signs indeed i just think that um, generally the bearish signs are stronger they are more more on the fundamental side and i just don't think that we can ignore those well in any case let's see what will happen tomorrow let's see what will be with the price and i will keep you updated of course so far that is it for today don't forget that Everything which I say is my personal opinion and not a financial advice. But I hope that it is useful for you guys. That is it. Safe trading. Goodbye.